Mind shifters, hello, how are you guys doing? I am just so excited about getting, just being on my keto, and my intermittent fasting. And yes, I'm still doing my, uh, my sort of detox. So just a cup of tea in the morning and sometimes throughout the day. And so I just want to come to you guys as I start to kind of get back in my series and talking about like sort of the keto lifestyle, which I love. Um, it's just teas. Like you can see, this is kind of the teas that I like, but I buy all, I don't care about the brand. I don't care about um, anything like that, but I do have like the top five to seven uh, teas that I use and, um, and sort of the benefits for me. Um, and if anyone, you know, puts more research or I'm not saying this is an end all be all, but just different things that I like to um that I like to, to drink. And I think teas are, you see some people in keto, they start their day off with like coffee or tea, like a black tea or something that's caffeinated. I don't necessarily, that was never really my craving and something that I needed, but I like the other properties that teas bring. They bring, um, they help kind of with um, my weight loss goals, especially green tea, a lot of antioxidants and it's, um, just something that I like to incorporate in my day. You can see like I have different types. There's different types of green tea. So there's like organic peachy green, regular green. Um, and that's kind of just, I like the green tea passion fruit matcha. This is a really good, I love the how this kind of has like a little sweetness to it. Um, green tea kombucha is really good. Anything with ginger is good too because it helps settle your stomach um, and helps with digestion. So I love that. Um, one of my favorite teas during that time in a month, this is for, um, there's another one I think by traditional medicinals tea and I think they call it like healthy life cycle. But raspberry leaf is really good for female, the, re the female reproductive system. So if you're having some issues or you have issues with PMS or cramping, this is a really good tea to start drinking like um, either a week or a few days before your period and throughout your period. It's really, uh, this helps me out a lot. Um, it depends on my level of exercise and my nutrition actually too, about my cramping and whether I get like cramps. Normally when I'm on like a more healthier, like low processed, and I'm also exercising. I rarely have any PMS or any um, cramping, but women's raspberry leaf tea is really good. And this is supposed to be really good too, like for women that are having just reproductive issues anyway, this is a good tea to use. Um, something that for me, it's like I've heard, I well, I haven't kissed anybody in five years and maybe for the rest of my life, who knows, right? But um when you're talking to people, I, I am an extrovert and I love to be in people six feet. So this coronavirus is really, it's a struggle for me guys. Um, but I want people to be safe. But um, people talk about when they transition to keto and to, depending, there's a period where their breath smells. And I haven't, no one's said that to me, but maybe that I had that period or that phase and I just didn't know, um, which is fine. But these are some teas that kind of help with that, like organic fennel and anything peppermint. And I had spearmint too. I normally like, I don't know, maybe it's up here somewhere, but peppermint and spearmint are really good um, teas. I think they're really calming, but they also give your um, a pleasant aftertaste and it kind of helps with like bad breath. Um, so it helps with bad breath. Um, I think I had it somewhere. Oh, no, guys. Oh, like I told you guys, when I first started my journey, um, like really my nutrition and my health journey, I was wor worried about my skin. And I was having issues with my skin and just having different breakouts. So um, Soothing Rose Hibiscus, it's like a skin detox. This is really, really, really good. And I actually have some rose water spray that I, so I used to like when a part of my routine was to spray it on my face or whatever. I don't use that anymore. I kind of use it for my hair now. Um, and that's something I like about my keto walk is that my hair products, you'll see me guys, I'm gonna make some clean products for us, but my hair, everything I can kind of use for my hair, my feet, um, or my skin topically. But 
this is really really good it, it felt like it my skin was hydrated um what's the uh, oh this is like the super i think this is i think i have it um i may have thrown away the box but echinacea if you're trying to boost your immune system for whatever whatever the reasons are, like maybe what we're going through now or just getting ready for the fall and the flu and the coronas, I don't know, guys. But this thing right here is a boost to your immune system. It's really, really good. Um, I sort of use this. I kind of started drinking this like when the coronavirus like really came out and they were saying that we were going to have that peak in April in Maryland. And, um, but I've been, I used to do this again two years ago when I started my journey and I realized, um, that I had some, something was there like in my immune system, um, or whatever. But so this is literally a blackberry apple cider, apple cider digestive. This is really good. And this has elderberry, elder, um, no, this doesn't have elderberry. Where is elderberry? That's really good. So elderberry is like another berry that's used too for a good um, boosting your immunization. The whole point of this, guys, is that you have options to choose. If you're not a coffee drinker, maybe you'll be interested in starting your, um, your day off with a nice tea. Um, and it sort of sets the stage for me. I start my day off with a nice hot cup of tea or a nice mug or whatever, and I just kind of just relax. And, you know, I just really just am present in a moment. But um, even if you didn't do teas, you could do like a nice hot, warm, hot water. And if you can do lemon and apple cider vinegar, but if you just did like hot water and maybe some drops of lemon, that's even good. The whole thing is to kind of get your digestive system um, operating um, as efficiently as it can. And we eat a lot of gunk. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you guys on a, on a grocery tour, probably my normal, like, anywhere food lion i shop at wagamans and moms are kind of my stores but any store and i'm going to show you how we can do keto and what i notice is that a lot of people it's hard during this time but i find it a little bit easier to do keto because all the things that i really need are no one's trying to steal or you know or to hoard and they're not stealing at the grocery store so anyway that's going to be another video but this is just some this shows you the different options and different flavors and just some of my favorites, like I said, um, these are some of my, oh, and also too, I forgot this belly comfort is really good during that time of the month or if you feel bloated. Fennel is good too if you feel like gassy or bloated. So there's, I'll put some little like notes about different things that some of these uh, teas are sort of known to help with or to support certain parts of your health, but um just, you know, jump in, guys. This is an easy way to kind of jump in. And uh, I hope this helps. Bye, Mind Shifters. And don't pay attention to my rap. Um, you guys know I did the big chop, and I'll be coming to, to you guys with some more updates and with my hair and health and, and things like that. But I just decided to just do a little rap. Okay, bye.